Hey there everyone and welcome to Bits of Board, where we're talking board games, miniatures, cards and dice. Uh, my name's Michael and today I thought I'd give you a bit of a collection update, uh, fill you in on some of the games that are filling the shelves, um, talk about maybe a couple of the Kickstarter projects that I'm excited about uh, and the ones that have rocked up in the mail. Now we're going to start by just having a quick look at uh, all the, the new games on the shelf. First off, I managed to pick up uh, two expansions for Mage Knight, which I was pretty happy about. Um, these ones I couldn't find in any local stores, uh, they just hadn't been around. But I wandered off interstate, uh, found a hole in the wall board game store and picked them up. So yeah, stoked about that. Got um, Roll for the Galaxy, now I was just a little bit late uh, getting into this one. Didn't really have a, a space themed game behind me, so I was very happy to pick it up. And I'm not even surprised about how good this game is. I, I knew it was going to be good when I got it, and man am I happy to have it in the collection now. What else? Uh, managed to get uh, Forge War. Now this one's from Isaac Childers, um, who's got that uh, Gloomhaven game in the works from a previous Kickstarter. Um, very excited to have backed that. Um, very excited to have his, uh, his other works with me now. Um, can't wait to give it a play and see what it's all about. Um, heard, heard pretty good things. Nice little complex uh, economic kind of simulator where you, you mine for stuff, create gear, give it to heroes, they go off and do cool quests, but you get all the glory. Um, so yeah, pretty keen to play that one. And finally, couldn't help it, picked it up on release day. Pandemic, Reign of Cthulhu. I'm a big fan of the Pandemic series, um, and you know, Cthulhu I'm still okay with, guys, so I'm pretty happy to have this one. I've given it a play already and had a bit of a blast. You're gonna be seeing a preview of that one very shortly, just in case you wanna get pick it up for yourselves. Now for the eBay find of the week, I actually managed to pick up a copy of Tricurion, um, the Kickstarter edition. Now this is a game from Mind Clash, who have uh, recently uh, funded a successful Kickstarter for Anachrony. Um, once again, similar to uh, Forge Wars, I'm just keen to have uh, a bit of a preview on what these guys are like just before, you know, the main event rocks up. Um, very cool theme, you're a magician putting together uh, tricks and putting together a show, all to become the most popular magician. Uh, very unique theme, I certainly haven't seen this one around before. So when I found it on eBay, I was just like, let's do it. Let's talk Kickstarter. There's a couple of games that uh, I found on there that I got really excited about. Um, backed them, of course, and they were very successful. So we've got Martians, uh, A Story of Civilization, the new Hostage Negotiator expansion, Vampire Hunters, and multi universums expansion as well. Now, I actually didn't pick this one up earlier, so this is going to have the base game and the expansion in there for me. Uh, there was also Mintworks, which is a micro worker placement game with all the pieces fit in a tiny little mint container. Uh, and then, of course, Unfair, uh, which is uh, which I've done a print and play preview for on the channel, so check that out. Um, but yeah, very cool game, uh, very mean game if you want it to be. All about building the best looking theme park on the table. Now, there's a couple more that I've got uh, in the works. Now, these ones haven't fun- well, they've funded, but they haven't finished their funding period yet. Uh, we've got Sagrada, which is a uh, dice drafting game all about building beautiful stained glass windows. Why not? And two more, I had the uh, Batalia, the Stormgates expansion, and uh, the Tiny Epic Galaxies Beyond the Black expansion. Now both of these ones, um, had ori their original games were quite successful on Kickstarter a little while ago, and I never had the chance to pick them up. So I am <laughs> I'm correcting my mistakes, picking these ones up now with both the base game and expansion. I'm psyched to have them on the way. And lastly, I had a couple of games arrive from successful Kickstarters a little while ago. Now you've already seen two of them. We had The Others, and of course, Vast. But two others also rocked up. Firstly, The Networks, which is a very cool game all about being a fledgling TV studio. You've got to buy the best stars and shows uh, to make the best channel on TV. You're vying for uh, popularity or victory points. And yeah, very nice strategic game, uh, a lot of laughs, very cool art style. It holds a very cool sense of humor, highly recommended. We'll be seeing this one up shortly. And lastly, we have Thief's Market, which is a dice collection, dice pool splitting, card drafting game. Very cool indeed, high strategy, high laughs. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll be seeing that one up very shortly because I want to show you all about this one, definitely one of my new favorites right now. And that's what's new in the collection this month. Stay tuned for Pandemic, Reign of Cthulhu, and plenty more to come as well. So if you saw anything in the video that you like the look of or want to have a closer look at some of the games, let me know in the comments below and I'll chuck a video up for you. 
um, other than that, uh, we're all about done. So till next time, uh, I'm Michael, this is Bits of Board. Thanks for watching.